There's a trend that's been going around called true or false, both on Instagram and YouTube. And I decided to hop on that trend because I'm an inquisitive person and I love to know what people are thinking just about things in general or about me as a person. And so today I'm either here to squash the rumors or I'm here to say if they're true. The first thing is something that is so common for people who are not vegetarians to assume about people that are vegetarians or vegan and that is that vegans or vegetarians don't get enough protein. It's a very big misconception that only meat can give you protein and iron and things like that but legumes, beans and supplements are very much included into the vegetarian and vegan diet to make sure that we are meeting our protein requirements while still trying to be green with our lifestyle and eating habits. The second thing is actually so funny and that is that I have eaten something non-vegetarian when I was vegetarian by mistake and this is so true. So at my matric dance or prom if you would like to call it that, unfortunately I was given something that was actually chicken. It was supposed to be a vegetarian meal. I made that very clear to the caterers who were doing our matric dance. However, first of all they took really long with my meal and so when my meal came I was so hungry by that time. I had mostly just fruit throughout the day so by the time the evening came since I knew I was going to be getting quite a big meal or a three course meal which is something I'm not really used to having in my daily life I tried to keep my appetite really big for the matric dance. I thought it was vegan chicken because that's how it looked and obviously that's something that I eat quite often. However, when I tasted it, it did not taste like soya and then I gave it to taste to my friends and then they also weren't sure. And then I saw my other friend who's also a vegetarian. She got like a chickpea dish and that just honestly made me so not angry, I was just kind of annoyed because obviously I hadn't eaten meat for that entire year. After that, I sent it back and they gave me the proper one, though granted it was like literally after everyone was like already on their main course and I was still on the starters. But hey, I still got to enjoy a fabulous night and great meals. And yeah, there's nothing that can be done when you're serving 200, nearly 300 kids. Someone said you almost always crave chicken. This is absolutely False. What I do miss though, being a vegetarian right now, is I miss the amount of fast food that is available to me. Like I don't really have fast food at all anymore unless I go to a restaurant because I'm not sure if people are frying things in the same oil or on the same pan. And I'm quite a strict vegetarian when it comes to those kinds of things. And so I tend to like just maybe stick with fries or something. But I miss also people taking the effort to make something delicious in a vegan or vegetarian style. When I first became a vegetarian, it wasn't as big and so people would just give vegetarian burgers like a salad literally between two burger buns and that's not nice. So I don't crave chicken. I do miss the effort that goes into making, I guess, chicken sandwiches or things like that. And I wish the same would be put into vegetarian food. So this is definitely false. Do you like being home more than being out? This is both true and false in terms of going out to a club and things like that maybe i'll go once or twice every three or four months obviously prior to lockdown and everything that happened but i do love being at home with my family because i'm in my own space i can wear whatever i want to and things like that however i absolutely love interacting with people and having new experiences so i love going to things like plays museums going to the movies with my family, going to a restaurant, taking a road trip, going to the beach if I'm in Cape Town or something like that. So I love being outside and I've said it before that the sun really is like my power tool and being with nature is also a power tool. So even if I'm at home, I love to be outside in terms of my garden and stuff like that. So no, I don't think that I love being home. Like I cannot be at home for like 50,000 years and be okay with it. But if I have an option between going to the club and staying home, I would probably stay home. Next thing kind of goes with the other question that was just asked and that is that I am an introvert. Now this is absolutely false. I'm actually a ambivert I think is the name. So initially I'm a bit shy when someone may meet me but after that like I can chat for hours and I do like making new friends and meeting new people and things like that. So I would say I'm an ambivert to an extrovert because I love being with people. I love going out. Not so much to the club, but I love just being out, experiencing new things, being with people. I'm definitely not an introvert because I do enjoy other people's company and I am a very friendly person. So this is completely false. 
The next one is quite interesting. Someone assumed that I am asexual. This is not true, but I think that the term that I've come to accept for myself is that I'm someone called a demisexual, which is basically someone that has to have a very close and personal connection to someone before entering a relationship or any kind of romantic link or things like that, which explains why I have been single for these nearly entire 21 years of my life. The next one says that I value my marks more than my relationships. This is not true at all. I mean, I do consider my marks to be one of my top priorities and my love life has taken like a backseat just because I feel that when my love life needs to happen, it will happen. Whereas right now, I feel I want to really focus on my career. So I think that's completely false because I just believe everything happens in the right timing. It's not like I'm saying I don't want a relationship at all right now. I just want to like get the best marks possible. So no, this is very false. I just had to tie up my head so hot in Joburg at the moment. But the next one says that I'm a very sensitive person. This is 100% true. I am that type of person. If there's a movie or a series in which one of the characters dies, I will cry and I will feel like my heart is ripped out because I become fully invested in that. But also just in terms of everything that's currently going on in the world, I get very invested into those types of stories and I fully immerse myself in it and I get very attached and that causes me to be quite sensitive towards those things. However, I wouldn't say that I am sensitive in taking criticism and things like that. I know how to stand up for myself and tell someone when I think they are doing something wrong or if I don't agree with it. So I'm not sensitive in if like someone shouts me, then I immediately cry. But I'm definitely sensitive in terms of relating to other people's emotions and situations and things like that. I am a countryside girl, not a city girl. This is 100% true. I would much prefer to live in the suburbs or somewhere that is not like fully hustle and bustle. I've said it before, I love nature and so if I had to be in a city, I don't think that I would be able to last very long there because I like having some quiet and some sense of peace. I think I would love to live in a city one day, you know, like New York or Amsterdam or something like that. I would love to live in a city, but definitely if I have to pick somewhere that I would want to retire and grow old and things like that it would definitely be the countryside to have like a big plot of land and have tons of animals and have my family live together and things like that so I definitely enjoy the countryside or the less populated side of a country or a city rather than the actual CBD kind of side. The next one is that I love dogs more than cats. I love cats but I definitely love dogs a lot more just because I have my own dog which is literally like my entire life and also because I haven't always had the best experiences with cats. My high school cat was probably the only cat that I was kind of attached to because it would come and sit with me whenever I was studying or revising something but like my cousin's cat had like five kittens and all of them just really scratched me and tended to not take a liking to me which I'm not 100% sure why because I'm such a big animal lover but I guess that kind of made me steer more towards being a dog lover. And the next question I saved the best for last and that is that I judge people who aren't eco-friendly or who aren't vegan. I would say that this is 50-50 between true and false. I don't judge them and I don't feel everyone has to be a vegan or a vegetarian in order to try and help save the earth because that's kind of asking a lot from people and i'm no one to be like you have to do this or you're you're a complete waste of human space and human life i'm not a very judgmental person overall i like to give people the benefit of the doubt and give them a chance to show me who they are rather than listening to someone else about what they think about someone but i would say that i do get very sad and disheartened and disappointed when i see people take the life that we have for granted and not taking into consideration on how to help the earth and not litter for instance when i see people littering it literally makes my skin crawl and i will definitely tell someone to pick up their own trash if they do that that's the type of person that i am just because it's something so simple because everyone has to do their part in my opinion i don't judge but more so i just get very disheartened and sad so those are all of the true and false questions that you guys left me on instagram if you're not following me on instagram please do so so that you can be a part of these types of questions in the future let me know if you guys agree with some of the answers that i gave or what your answers to some of these assumptions were for yourself have a great week ahead full of lots of love 
happiness, light, positivity, and hopefully more truthfulness and honesty. Love you guys. Bye.